Hi there. In this tutorial, we're going to explain how to launch Massive in standalone mode and also how to set up the audio MIDI paths. We're also going to introduce wavetable synthesis and have a look at the Massive interface. Firstly, a little bit on installation. So Massive can be purchased as a download from the Native Instruments website and there's also a demo version available there as well. Installation is a fairly simple process and Massive must be activated by the Native Instruments Service Centre in order to run. On my computer, I'm running Massive as part of the complete package that Native Instruments offer. OK, so without further ado, let's launch Massive in standalone mode. So if I navigate down to my Finder down here, and just select my Applications folder. I've got a folder here called Massive, and I've got an icon here which represents the Massive application. If I double click on that, it'll open up. I'm just going to shut my Finder window, and I'm also just going to go to File, New Sound, to give me the default sound. So the next thing I need to do, is just make sure that I'm getting audio out of Massive and also MIDI into Massive. In order to do this, I need to set up my audio and MIDI interface options. The way I do that is just to navigate to the File menu and choose Audio and MIDI settings. In the Driver tab, I need to have Core Audio selected on the Mac and ASIO selected on Windows. I can then choose the Audio Interface in the Device section here. In my case, it's an Apogee Duet. The recommended sample rate is 44100 and the recommended output latency is about 10 milliseconds. So on my system here, I've got 13.9 milliseconds at the moment, so I'm just going to arrange the slider so I hit about 10 milliseconds. There we go. So these are the overall settings recommended to work well on most systems. So on the routing tab up here, I should have my outputs listed. If I have not connected written here, that means I'm not going to hear anything. On the MIDI tab, my MIDI device should be visible. In my case, I'm using a Keystation 88ES, which is clearly visible on here. I need to make sure the status is on. If it does say off, all I need to do is click on off and change it to on. If your MIDI device is not visible here, it probably means it's not installed correctly. If you don't have a MIDI controller to hand, you can also use your computer keyboard. The bottom row of keys on your keyboard correspond to the white keys of a piano keyboard. So in other words, Z is equal to C. The row of keys above that, starting with S, cover the black keys, so S corresponds to C sharp. The two rows of keys above that had the same pattern, but one octave up. So in other words, by using the alphanumeric keys on my keyboard, I can get sound out of Massive. So Massive uses wavetable synthesis to generate sounds. And what is wavetable synthesis? Rather than using a single waveform to generate a sound like you'd find in subtractive synthesis, in wavetable synthesis, each waveform is actually made up of multiple waveforms, and you can easily morph between them to create evolving sounds. In Massive, for example, each oscillator is comprised of at least two recorded waveforms, and often many more, which makes exciting sounds with loads of movement easy to generate. We're going to see this in a lot more detail when we look at the oscillator section. OK, so now we know a little bit about what wavetable synthesis is all about. Let's introduce you to the Massive interface. So I'm just going to shut down this audio MIDI setup window, clicking OK. So here is the massive interface. In this section over here, we have the oscillator section, three oscillators stacked up, the modulation oscillator, noise, and feedback. Over here, we have the filter section, massive dual filter, filter one, filter two, and all the routing options included. We have the output section over here. We have our master effects section. We have the center pages here, which have various different pages that refer to the way Massive set up and also all the amazing modulators you get with Massive. Down here, we have our insert section with insert one and insert two effects and also the macro control section, which allows us to set up macro controls to control parameters. We also have our three different view buttons up here. We have synth view that allows you to edit synth parameters to get exactly the sound you're looking for, attributes view, that allows you to define exactly the characteristics of sounds, which makes the right sound easier to locate, and browser view. Browser view allows you to use these attributes to search and locate presets and your own saved sounds. We're going to look at this in more detail in the next video.